Hello everyone and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Alex, Al, <laughs> and this is Emma. <laughs> Today we are exploring a very beautiful and very peaceful Matka Canyon. Now this is only 30 minutes away from Skopje, the capital we're staying in, but it's a world away. When you search things to do in North Macedonia, this is one of the top things that comes up, especially if you're staying in Skopje. If you come here, you can hike, you can kayak, or as you can probably hear, you can also do a boat trip. There are a few different options of getting here. Wow, I think there's a party going on somewhere. There are a few different options to get here. Um, you can definitely do a day trip with a tour company or you can get the public bus. However, the bus doesn't run that regularly and it's Alex and I's final day here in North Macedonia. So we were tight for time and decided to go for the taxi option. And if your budget can allow it, it is definitely the best way to do this because you get delivered straight to the door <laughs> of the canyon and it maximizes your time. But before we carry on, we want to show you some of the beauty of Matka Canyon. I'm sure you can tell by the sounds of the boats that there is a lot less peaceful side to this area. There's a couple of boat trips setting off right from the start, however we have opted for the hike, at least to begin with. It is very hot so I'm not quite sure how long that will last, but for now we're going to do the hiking part. However there is a minor hurdle when you first arrive. It wouldn't be a Travel Beans video if there wasn't a little complaint. But this is nothing to do with the canyon itself. The problem is the people. So, of course, this is an incredibly beautiful place and it's really not far from the city. So you're going to get a lot of tourists here and that's completely to be expected. And it is the height of summer as it well. It is the so. height of summer. And let's face it, I think this is why the city centre was so quiet yesterday because look at this water, it's beautiful. Anyway, when you first arrive, you do have to kind of weave your way in and out of all of the Instagram models. There's they are a train everywhere. of them. <laughs> and they're kind of, the path is very narrow as well, so a lot of the time they are blocking the path completely. It's fine, it's one of those things that you kind of end up seeing in a lot of popular tourist places, so you get used to it these days. But this is something that, as social media people ourselves the irony of us complaining about this <laughs> is hopefully not lost on you but it's so frustrating to see people just lose the common decency of being aware of other people i got hit in the face <laughs> I was hit in the face, <laughs> we're constantly waiting to get past. And I think what's even funnier is that after about 15 minutes of walking, no one. Yeah. It's so hilarious how they all group and bunch together to get their shots they need. Anyway, we've got videos to make and photos to take. So, <laughs> so come go. along. cold as I thought it would be. If you saw our series that we did in Spain, we did a hike along Congas de Mont Rebi, which is actually kind of the same vibe here. I was using the rocks to cool down my face, which here is not the case. It doesn't work if you're thinking that travel hack is going to help you out this time. But it's definitely got the same kind of vibe as you're walking along a path alongside the massive... Oh! Oh! Oh, it works. Okay, you've got to do it in the shade. Cool yourself down like this. <laughs> if you are thinking about doing this hike, it's worth keeping in mind that there is no loop here. So you, you're going to have to turn around at some point. And in total, if you want to do the entire hike, it's about six hours. So three hours there and three hours back. So 
To be honest, in this heat, we don't fully recommend doing the whole hike, but we're gonna see how far we can get before turning around. If the weather is like it is today, then you may want to opt for the boat option. Ow, oh, what do you think about turning around? This is getting a little bit sweaty. Yeah, it's almost a bit dangerous. It's so, I feel like so my body hot. is boiling inside of my skin. <laughs> I think it's like 36 degrees. <sighs> It makes me so sad though because I feel like I failed somehow. There's no point that we said we were going to get to and there's no like huge lookout that we we thought about. It's just... Just I, turning around yeah, feels like a defeat. just not finishing it. it. makes me feel sad. But we have a ridiculous time restraint for the amount we of stuff do. we need to do before we fly tomorrow. Yeah, and we're flying. We have to leave at like 3 a.m. So we have a lot to do before the end of the day. Um, I say we head back towards the entrance and see if there's a place that we can take a quick dip or get a cold drink, one or the other. Before we leave, I th we have just found a little spot down along by the water where I think we can squeeze in a little swim before we go. We're just checking the bank to see if we can get back up because being stranded would be a nightmare. I'm pretty sure we can do that though. Oh, shit. Well, no, I have to go down there. Getting down is easy. There's a little frog. <laughs> Jesus, that's freezing. <laughs> freezing. I want to swim because it would look cool, but I don't want to swim in any other reason now. <laughs> also, it's guaranteed chafage if I get all wet and then start walking again. That's very true. Okay, give me, I want to hold these guys. Come with me, I want to show you. Definitely worth it though. We've got a little frog. Can you see him? There he is. You must be able to see him. Disappointingly, I am not going to do it. Because <laughs> Look at you wouldn't do what it. What a wimp! <laughs> but it would be purely for aesthetics to try and make it look like I'm having a great time. But there is nothing fun about freezing cold water. Okay, now I need to get back up here though, because it is quite a this steep could bank. Be amusing. Take me. Oh, that's going to give way. That's not taking my weight. I've been to Turkey. Yeah, I'm leaving you now. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, look at this. Okay. Make sure you've got a nice strong... <laughs> I'm pretending like I know what I'm talking about. I have no if idea. If you fall back, you're going to hit your head on those rocks. So be yeah, careful. this is great. Get yourself a nice grasping point and then another <laughs> one. Another one. Okay. You're going to launch yourself up. It's actually really easy. <laughs> I'm not covered in dust and dirt anymore. It feels so good. When we left the canyon, we were greeted with a horde of taxi drivers. So it's very easy to find a taxi when you leave, but it's not so easy to negotiate a price. So a little tactic anywhere you go in the world is to insist on the taxi using a meter. If they don't, just walk away because in our experience, they will chase you down and then offer it on the meter or at a reasonable price. Yeah, so for us, we ended up walking down the road and the guy actually drove after us and offered us our original price. So we got in the taxi and came back. That's also a little tip as well for if you're haggling anywhere, mm. is to go in with a price in mind and just walk away. Whatever price they offer you, they will always reduce the price and shout after you <laughs> until it gets to probably way below you originally thought anyway. Yeah, never trust the first amount offered. Also, the thing with the taxi drivers, it happens in every country. It's not specific to Skopje. It really does seem to happen in every country. I'm sure it happens in the UK. But anyway, that is the end of our short but sweet Macedonia series. It was weird, wonderful, and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, it's not going to be long enough. I wish we had longer here. However, we've got to catch a very early flight tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Leave in the comments any haggling or bargaining tips that you might have. They would be very useful for us and for other travelers. And nothing left to say, but Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you've tucked your kids in because <laughs> this will be what keeping them up all night otherwise. <laughs> with bad dreams. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and beads out! <laughs>